you may lose up to 30% of your YouTube pay if you don't do this one thing. Watch this video to the end. Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to fill out Google AdSense tax form for 2024. And this is for non-US residents living in the UK. I know I kept putting mine off because I felt scared to fill it in. So I hope this video will be a great help to you. Please share this video to anyone else you might know that's having trouble filling out their Google AdSense tax information. So just before we start, I am not an accountant. I'm purely going to show you a tutorial of step by step what to click on to successfully submit your tax information on the Google AdSense form. If you need further professional tax advice, please consult your accountant or tax advisor. So with that being said, let's get into the video. By now, you may have received an email from Google Payments advising that your tax information will expire by 31st of December 2024 and for you to update it. And if you don't, you may be at risk of them withholding up to 30% of your payouts or hold payments completely until your new tax form is approved. So it's advisable you do this immediately as December is just around the corner. So if you log into your Google AdSense account, you may see this red warning that says action required. There's something to check in your AdSense payments account. And then in blue, it says go to payments on the right hand side. And then below that in yellow, it says important. Check if additional tax information is required from you. All YouTube creators and partners are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payments are accurate. Then in blue, got some options here. It says manage tax information, learn more or dismiss. So there are two ways you can start doing your tax form. Either you can go in through the red bar at the top or you can go through the yellow bar that is below it. So I'll just explain the two options and then we'll go from there. So if you were to click on go to payments in the red bar at the top, it will take you to this page here where it has the exact same information as the previous screen we were just on but then at the bottom under payments you will notice this red bar here that says your tax form expires on 31st of december 2024 google may need to withhold up to 30 percent of your payments or hold payouts completely until you submit a new tax form and it's approved. So if you press anywhere on that red warning bar, it then takes you to your payment information screen. And then this is a second option from the main screen we were previously on. So if you went in through the yellow bar and it says manage tax info in blue, if you were to click on that, it takes you to the payments information screen. So ultimately, they both take you to the same page, which also has the same information as what we just read on the previous homepage in red and yellow bars. Then if you were to scroll down, it takes you to the manage tax info part where you will see all your previous details. You may need to scroll further down the page and then you would need to click on show tax details and documents to be able to make the submit new form button visible. If you got to this screen via 
the red button that we saw on the home page submit new form button should just be visible straight away so you can just click on it so click on submit new form you may or may not notice that the screen appears to go blank so all you need to do is scroll up your screen and then you'll see the prompt message come up which says submit new form if you start a new form your previously submitted form will be removed and then there's a button for cancel or start new form so click on start new form and then this message will pop up appear that says before you start plan on taking 15 to 20 minutes to keep your account secure we'll need to verify that it's you after one hour we may need to verify again and the information you already entered won't be saved use the correct payments profile for the payee providing tax information to Google. The tax form will need to be signed by the payee or someone authorized to sign as the payee's representative or agent. You may be asked to provide additional tax documents after completing the form. And then it also says Google can't advise you on tax matters for help with your tax situation, consult your tax advisor. Then it says start form or cancel. So press start form. Then it takes you to your sign in page. And then you should select the account that you want to make the changes to or to submit your tax information for from the drop down. Use the arrow. To select the account and if it's already on the screen then all you need to do is press continue then click on try another way and then you can choose the best method to yourself to log into your account whichever way you want to do it just follow the instructions that come up and you may need to enter your password or depend on which one you choose and then Press next. It should then take you to the United States tax info screen with your name already filled out. And then all you need to do is select individual, then press next. Then go to the next question where it says, are you a citizen or resident of the United States and select no then press next next you will see select w-8 tax form type and then you have two options and the first one says w-8-b-e-n this form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. So select the first one and then click on start W-8BEN form and then it says tax identity and your name. So leave the second box blank, it says optional, so you don't need to write anything in there. And then select your country from the drop down list by clicking on the arrow. A list of countries will appear, so you may need to scroll down until you find your country. And in this case, it's United Kingdom. So click on united kingdom and then it says taxpayer identification number a taxpayer identification number tin is an identification number that the irs requires payees to provide for some tax forms if you're claiming a tax treaty 
you must provide either your foreign TIN or a US TIN. So in the UK, that foreign TIN number should be equivalent to what is our national insurance number. So in the foreign TIN box, just type in your national insurance number. Then press next. After that, you will type in your full address and postcode. And then you should check the box that says postal address is same as permanent residence address. And then press next. Next, you will see the heading tax treaty. And you'll notice that in the blue box, you will already see that it says United Kingdom and the US have a tax treaty. Select the one that says, yes, I am eligible for a reduced withholding rate. Then check the box that says resident of the following country within the meaning of the income tax treaty between the United States and that country. Then select your country from the drop down box by clicking on the arrow. In this case, it's United Kingdom. So just like before, you may need to scroll down until you find United Kingdom and then just click on it. Next, you will see special rates and conditions. So in this part, you should check the box for all of them one by one. In the box that says article and paragraph, you should click on the drop down and there's only one option. So just select it. And then on the right hand side where it says withholding rate, click on the drop down arrow and select 0% reduced treaty rate for all of them. So there are three in this category. Check all the boxes and just repeat the same for all three.